There was a famous little shepherd, who could answer any question asked to him wisely. Until one day news about the shepherd's child reached the ears of the royal advisor, and the advisor proposed to the king to summon the shepherd to the kingdom. One day, the wise shepherd was called to the kingdom. The little shepherd went to the king. There are three questions that you must answer wisely, little shepherd. And if you can answer wisely the three questions I ask, in return I will adopt you as my own son, and you can live in this palace like a prince. The king explained at length. May I know what your majesty's question is? Asked the wise little shepherd. The first question is, do you have to count how many drops of water are in the ocean? Okay, your majesty the king, I will answer this first question. First, your majesty must stop the water drop by drop from all over this earth, so that not a single drop of water will drip into the sea, I will count each drop. In this way, I will not make a mistake in calculating it, and I will immediately calculate it. That was a truly wise and pleasant answer for the king to hear. Then came the second question, how many stars are there in the sky, asked the king. For this question, the little and wise shepherd asked the king, give your servant a very wide, large sheet of paper, and a nail with a sharp tip. Then make as many holes in the paper with a sharp nail as possible. This is the answer that I gave to his majesty, the king regarding the second question. Count the stitches I made on the paper again, the number must be the same as the stars in the sky, while handing him a large piece of paper that had been pierced with nails. Comes the last question, how many seconds are there in true eternity, asked the king. Our fertile and prosperous kingdom has a very large mountain, and it has always been a source of life from it. We can get clear water and can get various kinds of trees, fruit, livestock, beautiful birds that always sing and many other benefits from natural resources. Mount Adamantine is one mile high and one mile wide, and is one mile deep, where once every century a crow will come to sharpen its beak on the mountain. And when each mountain is sharpened the crow's beak, is which is the first second of true eternity running. That is the answer of His Majesty's servant. That is indeed a wise answer. The king said, then you can live in this palace and live as part of the royal family of the palace. Your rights are the same as a prince and as a child of a king. The wise little shepherd finally lived in the royal palace.